The smooth snake, or Coronella austriaca, is the species that we're looking at for the 24th Creature Fridays video. You're unlikely to ever catch sight of a smooth snake. Not only are they the UK's rarest reptile, but they're extremely secretive. This male emerged from his winter brumation, the reptile version of hibernation, in early March. He is four years old and so has just reached sexual maturity. His focus is on finding a female to mate with, although first he must fight off any other males he encounters. Another younger male passes by. Like the first, his coloration is brown and he has an orange-tinged throat. Although smooth snakes can vary widely in colour, the brown of their scales is usually a giveaway that they are a male. Look out as well for the tapering of their tail. As this male retreats into deeper cover, you can see how his long tail tapers off gently, accounting for 4% more of his body length than a female's tail. Although the younger male was not a reproductive threat, he moved away quickly. That's because smooth snakes specialise on eating other reptiles and will even become cannibals eating other smooth snakes. They lie in wait for prey to pass by and then follow it to make the killing strike. They have no vellum, so they must coil around the prey to subdue it and then swallow it alive. Luckily for the younger male, this one is still focused on finding his mate. This large female will do nicely. Although females are usually greyer than male smooth snakes, they do share common markings that help identify them. All smooth snakes have a large butterfly-shaped marking on the top of their head and a dark line that runs through their eye. They also have round pupils. Along their back is a pair of dots, bars or dashed lines and there is also usually a second pair of markings running along their sides. Deep in the heathland vegetation, towards the end of spring, the male and female mate. As an oviviviparous species, the female smooth snake will develop eggs inside her. These eggs will hatch internally and then towards the end of summer she will give birth to between 4 and 15 live young. It will take her up to three years to recover for her next breeding, so she will now head off into the deep vegetation in search of lizards to eat. Her newborns are the size of pencils. For a few days they will stay together and bask in the sun in a ball, but it's not long before they head off alone. The young smooth snakes must eat plenty before November, when they will enter their first of up to 20 winter brumations in their lifetime. They must also be on the lookout for larger birds and mammals, which will happily take them for a snack. Much better to be safely out of sight in the dense vegetation. In fact, their scales are perfectly adapted for this habitat. Unlike our adders and grass snakes, smooth snakes have no ridges on their scales. This gives them the name smooth, and although it makes them slower, it does make them particularly good at navigating a dense heathland. Unfortunately, the destruction of heathlands across much of the UK remains a significant threat to the species' continued survival here. You can learn more about smooth snakes in my Native Reptiles video series. I've linked to one of those videos in the description below. If you want to support me in continuing to create these free educational videos, then check out my new Patreon page. I have five different monthly support tiers to choose from, ranging from just £2 up to the higher tiers where you can vote for video topics, have your name credited at the end of each video, receive personalised art of any UK species, and get one-on-one -on -one consultation calls with me on any nature-related topic of your choice. Subscribe to Ferroforest to keep learning about UK nature.